Hey there guys, first things first, I want to just say thank you for the 1k subscribers. I probably should have made this video a little bit earlier, but I was kind of reluctant to do it just because my channel got demonetized days after I got approved for the YouTube partner program. I rewrote this script many times over and instead of just reading word for word off of a Google doc, I just decided to make bullet points and just speak off the dome. Originally, I wanted to mainly make meme montages, but like I said in the community post, being demonetized is very demoralizing, right? Because originally I wanted to do each LCQ, each region's LCQ, and just knowing that YouTube thinks that my edits don't transform the highlights kind of in the back of my head makes me feel like, oh, my edits are worthless, low key. At one point, that's how I felt at one point. But then I, I looked at my edits and I was like, they're crazy. Like, I don't know how you can look at a clip like this. Ryan's hands, but we must stay focused, brothers. Hey, yo, what the? Hey, yo. Backside showing, mate. Pull the trousers up. Come on, get on with it. Kang Kang, round the side. And then compare it to the original here. Ryan's hands, but he's out in the open. His backside showing, mate. Pull the trousers up. Come on, get on with it. Kang Kang, round the side. And say, my edits don't transform the clips. It's crazy. And it's even more upsetting because YouTube is still putting ads on my videos. So they are making a hundred percent of the money. And as you can see here, these videos takes hours, sometimes days to make. You can ask anyone who edits videos and show them this and they'll tell you, damn, that's a lot of work, which is one. And at this point, I might as well be allergic to grass with the amount of time I put into these videos. But I don't want to spend too much time complaining. Just know that my channel won't be monetized for the next three months, which kind of feels like a personal attack by whoever reviewed my channel. But like I said, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to focus too much on the negative. I wasn't really expecting to make a living off of meme montages anyways. I just wanted enough to pay thumbnail artists and hire editors for other types of videos as well. And it, <laughs> and honestly, it kind of makes Twitch's like 50, 50 split deal look quite lucrative, which is a crazy thing to say altogether. But I've been looking into the reuse policy, which is the policy that demonetized my channel. It's a thing that's been going on on YouTube for the past year, and it affects a lot of people who are like faceless YouTubers. So basically, a lot of my future videos are going to be showing my face in them. I still plan on doing the VCT edits though, so don't worry. But I plan on doing other videos that add my own gameplay as well, which I kind of did in the past anyways. But even then, I'm not too sure if that will be enough by just doing my own gameplay meme montages. Most of the things will be Valorant based because it's the only game I really have a lot of interest in. For now anyways. I also don't mind talking about anime, manga, and YouTube related topics since those are the things I like to nerd out the most about anyways. And like I said, I'll still be doing VCT edits, meme montages here and there. I just want to say thank you to everyone who was involved with getting me to 1k subscribers as well as those who choose to stay while I try to reinvent myself a little. Because at the end of the day, I really do like editing videos, especially meme montages, because I feel like there's so much freedom that comes with those types of videos. It's just a funny way to tell a story, in my opinion, and to share an interest as well. And honestly, you guys might not believe this, but I love making those meme montages more than you guys love watching. I even like to rewatch them, honestly. And other types of videos just don't have as much rewatchability. But like I said, I just really wanted to make a little bit more money so I could put out better content. Like I, I know I don't have to be making hundreds of dollars to put out better content. But when I say I want to make better content, I'm talking about some things that you guys haven't even seen. For example, there's this YouTuber named Deadwood who makes meme montages or .exe videos. And he's actually the YouTuber that got me into making meme montages because I was just blown away at the things he was able to do. He's basically a blender artist and he just has so many Jojo references <laughs> in his videos of Apex characters just doing Jojo poses or iconic Jojo moments. I, I just love it. I, I loved it and I was like, I want to get to that point. I'm just not an animator yet, maybe in the future, who knows. But there's even other meme montage makers actually have elevated that type of video. For example, level up lifting. He makes incredible edits and he has a team of people who make custom animations. 
I really do recommend you guys check those two people out as to get an idea of what I want to become, or at least what I originally wanted to become eventually. But I might have to reinvent myself, which is okay. Uh, if anything that's taught me with these VCT edits is that I can make engaging content for people. And if I just got to find a different pathway to do it again, I will. Because I really do love editing and the process of having an idea in your head and trying to figure out a way to make it a reality. I just love that. It's just so much. I just have so much fun with that type of problem solving and, see, and to see the end results of it is just, there's just a few things in this world that gets me more excited. But yeah, once again, thank you for the 1k subs, especially the people who decide to stay on this bizarre adventure with me. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see you later.